Hey, I'm Skyler. Over the last few years, I've encountered a few users who report that Bluetooth on their iPhone just turns on on its own. It's pretty strange, and I've actually seen it happen. They'll turn it off, and then literally 10 seconds later, it'll turn itself back on, or some time later in the day, they'll check it again, and it'll be on. While this isn't such a big deal from the point of view of your battery life, or really of security, uh, you could be, I don't know, especially cautious, let's say, and just want to keep it off all the time. But if you notice that's happening on your phone, uh, there is one thing I'm aware of, or two things that you could do to fix it. Um, and this comes from my knowledge of the Mac operating system. Every once in a while, we'd have the same sort of issue with a Mac. Bluetooth would turn itself on for no apparent reason. You'd have to go in and erase a preferences file, and that would rebuild the file according to your current preferences, and then you wouldn't have the issue anymore. Now, since the iPhone runs OS X, the same operating system, just a modified version of it, similar principles apply. In this case, you have to be a little bit more drastic about it, you, uh, more general or global. There's no way to go in and pick that one preferences file and trash it. So you'll have to reset all of the preferences of the phone. And you do that by going to Settings, General, down to the bottom, Reset, and at the top, Reset All Settings. It'll ask to confirm that you want to reset all settings. You say yes, and you'll notice that the phone power cycles, shuts off, turn back, back, turns back on. Um, you may have to set it up initially, change things like your wallpaper back to what they were, re-enter network settings, things of that nature. But none of your content, photos, apps, data, will be deleted in the process. That might solve the problem. I'm pretty confident that it will. If it doesn't, you may have to restore your phone either through iTunes or actually through iTunes is probably the best way so that you don't um, restore it from a corrupt backup. I've made other videos about restoring from iTunes without restoring backups. So definitely refer to those if you feel like doing it that way. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylar.